hi everyone welcome to another one of your chosen videos if you are an overseas dental care professional not a dentist who wants to work in the uk then you have just clicked on the right video today i'm going to break down the entire process of how you can apply to join the gdc register as you know that is a prerequisite to getting a visa sponsored job in the uk as a dental care profession so if that's something of interest to you just keep watching and let's go firstly who is a dental care professional abbreviated as dcp well let's head over to the gdc website and find how exactly the gdc defines who a dcp is so what you are looking at right now on your screen is the gdc website and here you can see dental care professional dcp so according to the gdc let's zoom a bit here on the definition of the dental care professional so according to the gdc a dental care professional dcp is a person qualified to practice certain aspects of dental care the term dental care professional DCP covers a number of titles that are eligible for GDC registration. Each title has its own qualifications and scope of practice. Titles included under the umbrella of DCP are, you have it here, dental nurse, dental technician, dental therapist, dental hygienist, orthodontic therapist, and clinical dental technician. So, Clearly, it is any other dental professional who is not a dentist. You might be aware that as of March 2023, the GDC stopped registration of dentists as dental care professionals, that is, as dental therapists or dental hygienists. So, dentists must now register as dentists. So, having seen who a dental care professional is, and I hope one of those titles applies to you. The next thing we need to look at is, what is the capacity of assessments? How many applications does the GDC process specifically for dental care professionals? So, let's continue. So here, the GDC states its capacity of assessment of the DCPs to register in the UK. These are the values for 2023. 150 applications assessed per month from January to September 2023. 250 applications assessed per month from October to December 2023. Capacity for assessment of applications in 2024 is 250 applications assessed per month. So there guys, you have it, 250 applications. So 250 of you stand a chance to be registered each and every month to practice what you already qualified in, in your country. You should take advantage of this route and apply to be registered in your capacity as a dental care professional and you come and practice in the UK. And maybe you are just wondering, how exactly am I going to do that? So that is exactly what I'm going to show you next. So right now we are looking at how you can apply. And you see the caution is here. Only start this process if you are qualified dental professional applying for registration for the first time. If you wish to work in the UK as a dental professional, which all of you guys definitely want, not so? Yes wish to apply to take overseas registration exam of course this one doesn't apply to you this applies to the dentists so you do not need to take ORE exam dental care professionals do not take ORE exam yours is just to apply with your form for assessment once you are decided that you want to apply then you just click here root registration so when you come here, then you come to this questionnaire. Since you are a dental care professional and the GDC does not want dentists to use this route, then definitely make sure you click here, dental care professional. 
Have you registered with the GDC before or currently registered? Obviously, if you were registered, then you wouldn't be planning to register again. So here we shall choose no. Where did you qualify? Definitely, it has to be outside of the UK. Because if it was within the UK, then you wouldn't need to go through this process. Your registration would be straightforward. Next, we need to know if you are relying solely on qualification as a dentist to apply for registration as a DCP. Which qualification will you use to support this application? Remember, the GDC stopped all dentists from giving dental care professionals an unfair competition by applying for dental care professional roles and yet they are dentists. So all dentists must now go for ORE or LDS or any other route in order to practice dentistry in the UK. You can no longer apply to practice dentistry as any other dental care professional other than a dentist. So if you're applying as a dental care professional, definitely we have to choose this one. I have an overseas DCP qualification or qualifications there. Are you a Swiss national or a non-EEA spouse dependent of a Swiss national? The answer is no. Okay, so after that, then you will go to the overseas DCP application form. But make sure you first read these application guidance and requirements. So here it is. Registration as a dental care professional, DCP for individuals with formal qualifications gained overseas. So we cannot go through all this guidance. Just make sure that you read it, you understand it before you proceed with your application. But you come here, it is important, and you read all of it. How your applications are assessed, I'm sure you want to know how that happens. We can't go through all of it, but we can read this part. Correctly completed applications are referred to our independent registration assessment panel of dentally qualified assessors for consideration and commendation. Panels are held monthly and applications are sent to the panel members three weeks in advance. So basically your application is assessed by a panel. Isn't that good news guys? No examination for dental care professionals. The panel will provide advice and commendations to the GDC registrar on each applicant's knowledge, skills, and suitability for registration. The panel is not a decision-making body. Following the panel meeting, the registrar will review panel recommendations and decide whether or not to grant registration. One of the following steps can be taken. Registration as a DCP is granted Further information or clarification is sought before recommendation or decision can be made. Registration is refused. Okay, then they explain why your application can be refused and so forth and so forth. And what you can do if your application is refused, how you can demonstrate that you have met learning outcomes, what documents you need to send with your application, there's a list here, maybe you can go through it quickly, a completed application, which I'm going to show you how to download, then completed learning outcomes form relevant to your DCP title, I'm also going to show you where that is, certified copy of your valid passport, clearly showing your photograph and personal details and expiry date, passport sized photograph of you, which has been signed on the back by your character reference. Certified copy of your DCP qualification certificate. By the way, this certification should not be by your college. It should be by a notary public. The GDC does not accept institutional certified documents. They want those certified by the public notary. A certificate of good standing or certificate of current professional standing. Certified copy of the syllabus of training course you completed. You must provide the GDC with the entire courses that you undertook during your training because they need to know if everything that you learned during your training 
equals to what your counterparts learned in the UK. Certified copy of the transcript of Max for your training course. Then you'll have to provide then you'll have to provide references from colleagues and employers referring to your experience and knowledge as a DCP. Evidence of any relevant postgraduate qualifications if you have some. Evidence of any relevant training courses or CPD. Translations of documents which are not in English. Evidence of English language competency. Certified copy of your change of name if you changed your name. For example, if you got married and changed your name. One full copy or photocopy of your whole application. So these are the documents that you need to send together with your application. And please take note of this. This is what I mentioned earlier. Your documents can be certified by public notary comes first, commissioner of oath next, justice of peace, lawyer or solicitor, or an authorized official of an embassy or consulate. Not your institution, guys. If you send documents certified by your institution, they will be rejected. And then there are other frequently asked questions. Please go through them so that you can have answers to the questions that you might have. Next, let's look at where you are going to find the application form and the learning outcomes form. But before we jump into that, I would really love it if you give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button there and join this family. Because I'm going to continue creating videos like this that empower you guys with information that you need to fulfill your dreams in the UK. And if you find this video useful, please make sure that you share it with all your friends. Share it with those who can benefit, even if you yourself, you cannot. But you might be knowing somebody who is going to benefit. Sharing is caring. God is going to bless you for that. So let's move on. So this application form, you can just click here and then you download it. Let's see how it looks. There you go. It's a long form, so we cannot go through it, but you can see application form. Then I wanted to show you the address. This is where you will send it. Registration team, General Dental Council, 1 Colmo Square, Birmingham B46 BJ. It is exactly at the heart of Birmingham City, where this office is. And their contacts are here. You can contact them if you have any issues that you need to have clarified. This is the application form. So now let's look at the learning outcomes form. So depending on which dental care professional you are, you just come here and pick whatever applies to you. So for demonstration purposes, I will just pick this one. So as a dental care professional applying as a dental therapist, your form looks like this. So as always, you can fill in your names. So this part is editable. You can just type in your name. Just like that, as you can see. Yeah, you fill it all through. And when you come here, this column A shows the learning outcome. Column B, you fill it if this learning outcome was covered during your training. You fill this part if this learning outcome was covered during your own work experience, but not taught during your training. So you go through the whole form until the end. And once you reach the end, then you are ready to submit your application. Make sure you have this learning outcome form filled together with your actual application form and send them to the GDC. And just like that, guys, you have completed the application to be registered with the GDC in the capacity that you have chosen. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and I'll see you in the next one.